Hey guys, Trifle here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a bunch of lead. Um, I apologize because for some reason when I uploaded this clip to my video editor, only the game audio transferred, um, but my commentary didn't. But yeah, anyways, okay, the location we're going to be going to is a monorail elevator. If you go to your map, um, it's right here, pretty close to a toga, so you can fast travel there. This is nice because this way you don't have to um, walk there, you can just fast travel. <clears throat> hey guys, okay, so once you get to the monitor elevator, it should look like this, pretty tall. And run over here, and before we go up the elevator, go and check this fusion core generator. Sometimes there's a fusion core, for me there wasn't, so just check it when you get here. Then, as you go back here, obviously go in the elevator and press the second button, it'll say app watch. This place is really pretty, um, if I could build my camp here I would, but obviously I can't since it's a marked location. Um, but it's really cool because you also get a really good view of Watoga. <clears throat> and obviously when somebody nukes the Scorch Beast Queen area, you'll see it. So if you want to get pictures or something, this is a good place to go. Anyways, next is like the actual part, the lead and concrete. So up here there's going to be lots of weights and bags of uh, cement. So make sure obviously you grab these. Um, but something to note is that once you grab these, you're going to be super over encumbered. You're going to weigh a ton. Um, so it does actually help to have fallout first and I'll explain why in a little bit. Um, but also, there's nothing up a pass there. This is basically it, but um, this is a really pretty place. You should go explore up here if you want, but obviously that's not what this video is about, so I'm not gonna. There's also a cool kind of uh, play area or whatever. Somebody kind of set this up over here. So if you're up here and you need a little bit of aluminum, there's one can. But anyways, you can either get down by taking the elevator back down, or if you have just power armor, uh, just jump down. So I'm gonna just use power armor to jump down because it's probably quicker. Um, the reason that it helps that fault first is because you're gonna be weighing a ton right now since you picked up all that lead and cement. Um, in fact, let me check. Yeah, I weigh 484 pounds. So jump down here. It's a pretty long fall. Um, oh, yeah. I, I like just tried to land on it, but I did. Um, anyways. Okay guys, once you get down here, just, uh, take your fault first tent if you have it. <laughs> this really helps, because you're gonna weigh a ton, so you can just place it down, and boom. You're gonna be getting 81 lead, 70 concrete, and obviously that one aluminum is from the can I grab. So, a pretty decent chunk. Um, and obviously you can farm this. Also, another good spot to go is like if you're gonna launch a nuke, go to, so for example, say you're gonna go to Site Charlie. If you go down the elevator, in the workout, there's gonna be a workout room down there, and in the workout room, there's going to be lots of weights, and obviously that's where you get lead from. So there's that and the monorail elevator. The monorail elevator is a favorite, it's pretty close to my camp, and you get tons of lead. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see y'all later. Bye bye.